When people ask me if I have a boyfriend, I usually ask them, do you mean a two-legged one or a four-legged? Horses, they don't really see human as different. Dart don't see that I'm using walking sticks. Dart don't see that my this condition is called cerebral palsy. I treat him like a human being. It's just that we don't speak the same language. It started off with a, an article about Laurentia, who is a para equestrian for Singapore. So I kind of tell my mom, if you find me one training area, I will go and try it out. After then, it was all committed. Coming nine years now. So I have not been training for one year and six months. It's due to my uh, COVID restrictions and also I, I'm graduating from poly. So today will be my first day back, which is quite interesting because I'm not so sure whether that will be remembering me, but I, I'm hopeful that he will remember me. Fingers crossed. I miss the air here. <laughs> Good to see you again, you know. Here, sit here. Hey. Sit a little bit further. Yeah, I know. I know you it's miss not me. Carrots. See, you asked me if he still okay. remembers you. Okay. Are you sure he remembers you okay. or not? Okay, he remembers you. Lots of kisses. Hi, I think hi. he remembers you. Come. Hi, Dad. I need to chair. see that really. Turn around. Can you sit there? Okay. Last one ready. <laughs> okay. Okay. So five is you're feeling super energetic, healthy, and happy. One is being the worst day ever, and you don't feel good at all. Five or was I, it? I you know. If I give you a six, you give me a six, right? Yeah, I thought so. I'll tell okay. you, if you give me percentage, I'll tell you. A hundred percent plus infinity. <laughs> Before horse riding, I was quite shy and reserved. But with horse riding as a conversation starter, I can be like, oh, hi, I'm Alina, you know, and I'm... Um, on my free time, I do horse riding. It actually broadens what I think I can do. It's just that I need to have alternative routes to complete the same goal. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, good. Hold on my shoulders. Keep your legs together if you need be. Lean back. Lean back. It helps. Lean back. It helps. Right. I'll help you with that leg. Do this leg. Okay, this leg is fine. My friends have been saying that I've been more anxi with a horse. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah. I feel the same way. It's but exactly no horse, no life, right? Well, do you know what? Like, this is, it's not, a, it is a lifestyle. Correct. It has nothing to do with something you just switch on and off. Correct. But that's going to get you far. I feel like Alina is one of the most determined riders I have come across in a very long time where almost you need to pull her back a little bit because <laughs> she wants to achieve things um, really quickly. I'm a person who whenever I fall off the horse, when my trainer asks me if I can go back on the horse, as long as my legs can move, my hands still can move, I will say yes. Is he okay though? He's okay. He is okay. Now see how he's a little bit sticky to the fence? Yep. Try and get him back onto the track. Good boy. That's it. Good. Lovely. Yeah. Alina, I think I, I'm almost at the stage where I think you need to come down. Oh. I would like you to think of it not that today is the only ride you get and you're never going to come back. Okay. Okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. Singapore wasn't built in a day. Okay? So we, we, we have time. One more. Actually, I lied. Two more. <laughs> there you go. And last one. Super. Got it? Well, we have been working together for a long time. And currently, we're working on 
our long-term goal, which is going Paralympic Paralympics. So we still have to do a couple of smaller long-term goals, which would be to do um, local competitions, international competitions, getting classified, and then ultimately going to um, the Paralympics. Alina, please meet Natalie Tan. Natalie rides for Singapore and has competed in many international competitions and won. So I think she's one of the people that you might want to aspire yep. to, look up to. You can see how she's always in rhythm. Correct. Yeah. So she's never fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, which is something that we need to work on as well. I can't really feel when he's... Exactly. Slow. But what you can do, you have these mirrors. So when we ride up in the mirrors, you'll be able to see the rhythm a little bit better. I mean, I'm not going to miss my words. It's quite a... You have to be quite committed, which I'm sure you know. So it's five, five days a week coming down to the stable and riding them. But you know, when you, when you love it, it's barely any sweat off your back. Yeah. The moment you get to know your horse, and you re realize that this is what you want to do, it won't be a chore to come for training. Yeah. So, like what we say, like you have five days a week of training, I would rather have seven days. <laughs> seven you days. need more horses. You need, I need more horses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's always a quote that resonates within me, and it says, in riding a horse, we borrow freedom. When the wind goes through your hair, it just gives you goosebumps and it makes you feel invincible. And I think that is something that resonates with Alina a lot as well because of her mobility issues. Um, they don't matter here. Um, she is struggling to walk on two legs. Well, I've got four I can give her. Horse riding will always be a part of me. On the horse, I can run, I can walk faster, but like, I went mean, off the horse. You sometimes see your friends walking ahead of you and then you have to be behind shouting to them saying, can you slow down a bit because I can't catch up. But with the horse, it's more of like them catching me on the horse. He helped me to do what I can't do on a normal daily basis. I think we can say the sense of freedom that I get, that kind of feeling.